All right, so this is actually huge, huge news. The number one Valorant player in Europe just got banned for 12 months. He was supposedly using cheats, hardware cheats for that matter. I'm Fatman, and if you want more Valorant content, be sure to click that like button and decide later on if you want to subscribe. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about this crazy story of the day. This took over the whole Valorant community and I simply wanted to respond to it as well. So you're probably wondering, what actually happened? Well, Riot Games has banned a Turkish Valorant pro Yasin Nisai Heavens from official matches for a period of 12 months. Now, in addition, Riot removed him from the EU Radiant Top 500. And that's a big accomplishment if you're on a Radiant Top 500 leaderboard. It actually means a lot, right? It means that you accomplished something in your life. And it reduced his competitive rank to Immortal. Okay, so they reduced the rank. He was Radiant. Uh, a lot of people, we heard a lot of people actually cheating up to Radiant. That is stopping using hacks. But these disciplinary actions were instituted after Riot determined that Desai... I hope I spelled his name correctly, used third-party software to cheat while competing on the public Valorant competitive ladder. At this time of his banning, Nisai was ranked number one. And number one is not easy to obtain. That means he was better than most G2 pros out there who are known for being the best in the world. Also, during his time with the organization, he played in the Valorant First Strike Turkey event, which is even a very good event, and he even reached the quarterfinals. Following Riot's disciplinary actions on a Thursday, Beskita's Esports also terminated their contract with Nisai, basically kicking him off. This is how Nisai responded, and I actually had to translate everything so you have the full information for this. Greetings, I have been banned from official matches by VCT for 12 months. First of all, thank you to everyone who supported me in this process. If you notice me, it is said that there is a third party software in competitive game. I'm not so stupid enough to cheat just because I will be a Radiant in a competitive match. Now, we saw something like that previously. You know, the news I reported like three days ago, he was also being banned for cheating in Radiant, which is really interesting because now we're seeing the same scenario and I don't know who is right here. I'm simply reporting the situation. If you notice, it said that there is a third party software in a competitive game. Okay, so he said he's not stupid enough to actually do it. They said they did not encounter anything like this at any tournament by Riot. We went through a long time and were constantly exchanging information with Riot as well. When we asked them what the third party software would be, they sh would you show us the evidence? We are under community pressure and said that they would not. In a previous tweet I posted, you saw my rank was lower, but my account was not banned. That means he gets a one year ban. He can still return to Valorant. After these events, uh, community edition, they felt the need to ban my account. I personally think I'm being wrong, but I cannot do anything against a company like Riot. Well, simply put, you shouldn't really sue them because you decided to work for, you know, make, go proing in a competitive game basically, just 12 months because of a ban that was banned for suspicion and conversation on the agenda. If they had actually detected that I was cheating, a permanent ban would have been applied. Anyone in their senses known that someone who has not cheated will not be banned for 12 months. Or it's actually a punishment for cheating in Radiant and not cheating in pro games. This is 12 months of salary being taken away. First Strike Riot Turkey offered me an after examining me as they could not find anything official. Their screenshots ATC all remain. I request Riot to show me proof of what their third party software they detected and that it's cheating. Of course, there will be people who don't love me or really think I'm cheating, but I think those who trusted me and supported me, I hope a riot will open up to the situation soon. I don't know what will happen in the future. I will listen to my head for a few weeks and continue my talks with Riot. Thanks. Now, besides not only the professional Valorant player punished by Riot for cheating this week, so it seems like Riot is actually cracking down on pro players cheating. The size ban comes only two days after Riot banned Indian pro Valorant player Apsay Zaid or Kud after he admitted to using wall hacks on a live stream. Unlike Desai, however, Xade's account was permanently suspended. 
So do I think the punishment is fair here? Actually, I have to agree with the punishment. It's not severe enough to permanently ban someone, but it does take away a lot of potential and career to be harsh enough. So I definitely have to back up Valorant here on banning such a player. What's really interesting here is that outsource media also picked this up. For example, Esports Talk also reported on this. Let me show you a clip right here. So kind of funny in a video he himself posted, which got people very suspicious of him cheating, where he was bragging about being the number one ranked player in, in, in EU. Well, here's a quick clip of that as well that he posted himself. Games will be posting any of this information publicly has likely hopefully shared that information with him privately because sheet makers all around the world would probably digest that in different ways than we can even tell riot games will not post any further about this to the public but i assure you guys i think we should all have full faith here they are not issuing a year-long ban for cheating without having proper evidence in doing so i will keep you all posted about the future of this one it's just shocking news day in and day out for the valorant space at the very least they are being caught the cheaters we've talked about we talked about three different cheaters in the past seven days cheating in these weird weird ways this one just adds another storyline the number one ranked radiant player in europe has now officially been banned for one whole year what do you guys think huh until next time take care of yourselves you know what to do take a sip so here's what i think actually happened riot is actually cracking down on people who are using cheats to gain radiant in their game so usually it's pros right who got the radiant rank unfair and like top 500 is a pretty strong rank and you can actually investigate people i don't think riot would just randomly give the 12 month ban for an unwanted engine on your pc on some hardware they surely made that research to make it worth it to see something is not right and since that happened for the second time this week, it's very likely possible that Riot is actually researching everything right now. So let's check this channel out. What I really like is Curry Shot Gaming, who also does FIFA, not just Valorant. And I really, really like his content. To be honest, he also streams on Twitch and I actually followed him as well. So yeah, if you want to check out more Valorant content, be sure to check out Shot Gaming. Or if you like soccer, then his channel is for you. But what do we think of this situation? Let me know down in the comments below and surely do check this guy's channel out. I really do appreciate his content. Anyway, this is Fatman, sign out. Peace guys.